Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography and post-processing software. Today we are inside on one photo row 2022 and we are going to try and fake golden hour light into our photos. Uh, to be able to do that you need to have uh, a photo that is later than midday so uh, midday photos might not work because the contrasts are too harsh so you need something that's a bit softer than midday photos and this photo is uh, maybe two hours before golden hour but you can clearly see that this is not a golden hour photo uh, but we can try and tweak it and turn it into a golden hour photo even though we don't have any sunshine really shining in other than on this part we can still try and turn it down into a golden hour photo so the first thing i'm going to do is to change the camera profile so under here you should have some presets if you don't have presets under here it's either because you're using a jpeg file which i don't recommend or you have a different camera than me but you should have a kind of a landscape preset either way i'm choosing on one landscape and already that kind of warms it up just a little bit then i'm hitting the ai auto button and i'm going down to the white balance and i'm hitting auto there as well and i know that i need to warm the white balance up just a little bit so i'm going for something like 5400 somewhere around there and i'm also increasing the vibrance quite a bit and let's see now so this is where we started and this is where we are at right now so you can see that it's already a bit warmer just going to dehaze it just a bit and now let's go into the effects and we are going to add a dynamic contrast filter and a tone enhancer filter and the reason why we are adding tone enhancer and dynamic contrast is to bring up the details because we are going to add a, a glow filter and the glow filter will really soften down the details and we do need some details we can't have a too soft photo it would just be strange now as i hit the normal button you can clearly see that we did indeed soften down the composition here and uh, we are starting to get somewhere when it comes to creating golden hour light uh, we can hit uh, before and after and you can clearly see that uh, yeah <laughs> this is quite a transformation and it's already looking like golden hour but we can take this even further so if we go for add filter and maybe a photo filter and we change the style to 85 style and now you can see that we're really close to a golden hour light uh, but it's a bit too much so i'm going to drop the opacity on the photo filter and go up slowly to when i think it's uh, enough there so yeah so around 50 55 percent on the opacity and maybe the last thing we want to do is to drop a vignette so let's do that and we could go for big softy and just drop the opacity a little bit and let's see this is where we started and this is where we are at right now and you can clearly see that this is pretty close to a golden hour uh, light image now uh, i would need to tweak this even more to make this look uh, really realistic but uh, this is where we should start from so this is our starting point to make it perfect now if you think this is far too much uh, you can tweak the individual filters or try and go up to this opacity bar and lower the opacity all the way down to zero and go slowly up and now we are starting to get that golden hour light and go slowly 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 up and for me i think i'm going to stop around here and I think that would qualify as a golden hour light, really. So, yeah, that's actually quite nice. I like it a lot. 
so let's move into the next uh, photo and we are going to do pretty much the same there as well this is shot at almost midday it's uh, maybe a an hour later than midday so this is what uh, would qualify as uh, a bad time to take <laughs> image or uh, outside outdoor image anyway we are going to try and turn this into a golden hour photo as well so the same here camera profile landscape or we can actually try the vivid preset let's just hit ai auto and i know that i need to lower the exposure just a bit here so i'm going to do that and i'm going to go down a bit on the highlights as well so i'm holding down the j key to see if i'm clipping in the sky or crushing the blacks but it's fine so let's just continue to white balance and i'm going to hit the auto off button so we are indeed applying an auto breeze set here and we can go up a bit on the temp here to around 5400 now we need to make sure that we're not going to high on the temp because that's going to be bad for this image because it would be visible that uh, the white balance is wrong anyway let's go up on the vibrance quite a bit and into the effect uh, and it's the same thing again dynamic contrast tone enhancer go down on the tone enhancer add some details but not too much on this photo because this is going to be noisy to look at if we go up too much on the details but we are going up a bit on clarity somewhere around there and let's just see now so this is before very flat and a bit colder and this is where we are right now so let's add the glow filter go for normal and uh, just add uh, maybe the sunshine filter that's really nice but it's brightening the sky too much so i'm just going to paint that out from the sky uh, but i'm not going to do a really good job here when i'm painting this out so I don't have the time to do that so we are just doing this a bit quickly all right something like that and under the sunshine filter we can warm this up quite a bit so let's do that and you can see it's getting warmer and getting more into golden hour light let's add a photo filter go for the 85 style let's drop the opacity quite a bit and just go up slowly to around there let's add a vignette big softy let's go for this one and let's check the before and after and yeah it's quite nice uh, clearly you can see that we need to tweak this even further uh, but we're not going to do too much right now but i'm going to drop the exposure just a bit there and maybe pull up some contrast and let's see the before and after now so it's a pretty good transformation and it makes it look just a bit more interesting in my opinion uh, i can see it's a bit too much but then again we could drop the overall opacity on the effects and maybe into something like that and this looks now like early uh, early golden hour light and i think it's uh, completely fine actually uh, maybe just go up on the shadows but what's left now is uh, tweaking of the sliders and the tones and we cannot do that in this video it takes a bit of time but it's this is a good starting point for your initial or your end tweaks <laughs> on your photo yeah i think that's it that's two photos really quickly turning those photos into a golden hour light photo and it's not hard at all but you need to make sure that it at least looks a bit realistic uh, this is just a bit dark so maybe go up on both shadows and mid tones to there and yeah i think it looks fine 
so from this to this in just a few minutes okay so i think that's it for this video as i said a few times now you need to really tweak it you need to do some work to get it to work but uh, this is the initial uh, start of turning a photo into a golden hour light photo to save time you could just save uh, all that we have done to this image as a preset and you could simply load the preset up later but then you should make sure to hit the AI auto button before you save the, this as preset and also on the white balance to change the auto off to auto on uh, this will load up uh, all the auto settings instead of loading up all the settings that we've done to this image because all those settings might not match the next image you want to do the preset on <laughs> all right so yeah that's it uh, not hard at all simply go through my workflow here and you will have success turning uh, those photos that are close to golden hour but not entirely in golden hour into golden hour light uh, thanks a lot for watching if you like this video hit that like button if you want to watch more from me hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you again goodbye Thank you.